What's up my friends? Today I'm presenting you a routine of flow exercises that you can do anywhere. This routine is perfect for everyone because a lot of these moves are basic so you don't need any prior knowledge and can get right into it. These exercises are super effective to work on your understanding of flow. The main goal is to work on smoothness, timing and momentum which will take your flow to the next level. Don't forget to warm up and if you're ready, let's get started. The first exercise called low back sweeps. We start in a squat position, you lean to the back and place your hands behind your body, you stretch out one of your legs, sweep it to the side, switch legs and do the same thing to the other side. Let's go! And like I said before, the goal is to keep the flow going, keep the momentum alive and never have a full stop of motion. You can also increase the range of the sweep and work more with your hips. The next exercise is called shoulder to shoulder and for this one we go into the push-up position. You make a step with your foot and in the moment you land you raise the other one and do the same step to the other side. Why are we doing this? We're moving from shoulder to shoulder. The next exercise called inside walks and has the same starting position than the first one. So from the squat position we lean again to the back, but this time we perform an inside walk through our leg and from here we do the same thing to the other side. This movement, but almost every other one from the routine, feel like a chain reaction. So one movement triggers the other one to create a continuous flow. The next exercise is called back slides and for this one we go back to the push-up position. What we want to do from here is to make a slide around our foot and before we have a full stop of motion we start the slide with the other one. What you can try to do is to follow the sliding foot with your eyes and support the movement with your head. The next exercise is called leg switches. It's actually a preparation for the last exercise of today, but I also really like to practice it separately. You can give it a try. You bend one of your legs, you hook your other one around it, you place your hands behind your body, you drag out your leg, 
you shift it under the other one. From here, you let your knee sink to the floor until we back to the hook position. Now let's try everything with flow. And remember what I said about the feeling with the chain reaction. One movement starts the other one. So the last exercise of this flow routine is a combination of the leg switches and the hook spin. If you're struggling with the hook spin, you can check out the World of Hook series here on my YouTube channel. So from this position, we start one of our leg switches. We lift our hips, so most of our weight is on our foot now. We cross our hands and keep turning until we back to the front. From here, we switch back to the sitting level and can do everything to the other side. Let's give it a try. Try to have a steady flow through each element of this movement sequence. All right, there you have it. Your flow routine, which you can do almost anywhere. Keep working on those exercises and you will start to feel a difference in your flow and also in your movements in general. Enjoy moving and a beautiful day. You're Lucas.